Hey guys, welcome back to the Dune 2K tutorials. It's about modding and making maps, as you know. Today I'm going to explain something which was requested by many people and seems to be a bit harder for them to understand it. So I'm gonna explain it as as uh, good as I can today and hope there won't be any more problems with regarding this feature because it's not that really hard. and. Uh, this is about text messages so like house whatever Atreides has been annihilated you know from the original campaigns so those text messages uh, people are having problems um, making those to work like they are showing 100 times and they don't stop so they are looping over the screen I, some of you should know about it so today I'm going to explain you how to uh, do it so it w will display only one time and uh, surprisingly some people didn't understand where to download the toolkit from even that I gave them the link which is kinda retarded but uh, I'm going to show that too so for those who don't know the link it's this one It's uh, it will be displayed into description of course and right here you see this download toolkit uh, button you just click on it and you have this very cool screenshot over here and then you are going to click this download release one and then it just says somewhere where you have set up the path and uh, after that you just um, unzip it and start working this is the launcher so gonna open the launcher I already have it so I'm not gonna do that now like unzipping so this is doing um, this is the launcher gonna minimize this so today we are going to work with the mission editor since that's the program which handles text events okay so I don't know let's just open an existing mission like something which is small uh, yeah why not okay so this is Harkona mission one doesn't really matter now let's start with the beginning gonna just delete these so you won't com be, you won't confuse them as well as set condition events because these are we will work with them and why not delete everything except I think it gives an error okay so um, yeah Let's say that we want to display if House Atreides is annihilated, like you lose all the, like Atreides loses all buildings and units. You want the text message to appear as House Atreides uh, has been annihilated. We need to uh, work with two types of events, and those are message and set condition. People usually are working only with message. And that's the reason that the message, uh, the text message, is dif in, is displayed in a, an infinite loop. So we are gonna start clicking add, then going to change its type to message. Now, uh, this is very important. Here, I don't never tried um, with any number different from um, 500 and I'm not sure what is gonna happen if I put something random here but it's just okay if you leave it like this don't know why that's why it's unknown and this one is um, the message index which shows you which message is displayed we're gonna talk about that later I have all of them in this text file so I'm gonna paste it in the description so you see a trade is 602 we're gonna just type it 602 here and that's all we need uh, in the parameter section in of the message event. So now we're gonna add the conditions. So we want uh, House Atreides to be annihilate, annihilated. So we're gonna add the conditions. Let me find them. Base destroyed. No. Uh, we're gonna go make them right now because it's fast. 
I guess you know to make them so I'm not gonna stay very much on this base destroy are sending it to Atreides and if I remember well this has to be one then unit is destroyed no Atreides uh, yeah yeah that's what happens when you don't click apply so make sure you always click it um, so we have conditions number 14 and 15 we're gonna put them here and now this is a part that most people don't understand and uh, that is working with dummy conditions they are very important not only for text messages but we're gonna cover only this uh, aspect in this video so if you want to make the text messages work correctly like not displaying all the time on the screen you are gonna need to use dummy conditions and we're just gonna create a new one then set the type to dummy condition and you have to include it into the condition list and pay attention make sure it's checked which means uh, it will do the opposite like if I check this uh, the event will occur only if the units are not destroyed but it has to be like this with the dummy condition don't ask me why that's the way it works don't forget to hit apply <coughs> sorry now the second part is using the set condition Evan. Last one in the list. I'm gonna hit change, and now this um, index is uh, you have to put down eighty. Um, you have to put down the number from the dummy condition all the time. That's the way it works. And uh, enable it. Then it's easy. You just have to put the same events as the message uh, so the base the units and the dummy condition itself so that's all you have to do forgot the numbers okay <clears throat> hit apply so now once you killed all the units and destroyed the entire base of house Atreides it will display on the screen um, <clears throat> the message how trades have been annihilated it will it will display it only one time so that's pretty okay if you don't do this set condition thing then it will read the uh, game will read only this one which means it will display the message without stop so it's gonna be like uh, how trades how trades and all that stuff without um, stop so that's what you need to do make sure you always have them both of them for every house you uh, are going to use and make sure you check this and this because it won't work otherwise oh and this one too sorry so make sure the dummy condition is always checked in the condition uh, bar and that condition is enabled and in the set condition event so that's all you need to do and it's going to work so I hope you guys understood it finally because it didn't work very well when I explained it in words so now you're having video it should be okay I'm gonna be back with more tutorials so I hope this one helped you guys see you later